for testing, we choose another package from uh, the from the the, the 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 package, which is 341 slides of any hamrate, and another 361 slides that have no hamrate. And then we compare the accuracy our uh, the accuracy of our reference method with the conventional transforming method. And then we apply the erosion. Uh, one, one thing is that uh, for the thresholding method, we want to make the work fair. So we try to, for example, the threshold method, they use, uh, they, they set the threshold for removing the scalp. But for for this time, we try to make the work fair. So we use our method, erosion method, to apply the erosion clause. So that uh, the accuracy is kind of similar and competitive with each other. All right, and um, the last thing is that um, the threshold method we we'll use is based on the number of pixels having the intensity of frame summary. Uh, from a previous slide, I have said the we have said the, the, the number of pixels uh, of the summary is from 161 to 211. So uh, this is going to be one of the features that we are going to set it as the um, feature to classify. And we lastly, last but not least, we going to evaluate the uh, power service for measurements like sensitivity, uh, specificity, recall, and resistance on those methods. So this is the thresholding method, and this is our uh, decision tree method. And I think that um, our method is kind of almost get to the hundred percent, meaning that um, we are working on the right things and. Um, uh, we have the thing is that our removing skull uh, that we have done is give more accurate uh, result to our work. And this is uh, the result between our threshold between the threshold method and our decision tree method. As you can see, uh, our our uh, our method out uh, outperform the threshold method. The first two hemorrhage caused by the Overestimate team the threshold value obtained from the frame set. Mm -hmm. And the two non hamburg shows that the intensity of the midline has the same range of hamburg. This means that um, uh, for the thresholding method, for our method, we can classify that this is no hamburg. And for the the thresholding method, it counts the white area over here. So that it caused the error. Okay, and this is our error. We try to be very fair and so our error. So because of this uh, color or this intensity is tied to the gray matter, that's why it's error. But only one or two. And um, okay, I'm going to be very quick. Um, our future work, now we already finished this one and we are going to do the automatic brain hemorrhage, uh, brain hemorrhage volume approximation as well. Uh, by doing like this, uh, we are going to get the area of A, of A and B and uh, multiply by the length of here, the number of slides, and divide by 2 to get the side approximation. And then uh, from each slide, we're going to use the uh, slide index counting. For example, if the slide has hamburg, we count it and take it for um, uh, experiment. Okay, this is what we can do. Uh, we, we first apply the elite fitting. We apply the elite fitting, but this is not so accurate. Yet. Then we apply the elite fitting with the point location by setting some point here. So when it, when uh, the point, when when, when uh, we oh, when we apply the elite fitting and then the point get to the uh, the the area of the amber is stopped there. So our result is here and here, which is. Like what we reached for, and now we are comparing our uh, this result with the doctor result. Okay, so to sum up, um, we have already proposed the um, we have already done the automatic brain hemorrhage detection using uh, decision tree method, and this work will have to save the human life, and also um, have to um, have the doctor in order to identify the uh, slide quickly and our 
should be some kind of matrix like what we really want. 0 0.12 image, so 0 0.12 seconds of image. Uh, thank you.